All right, Norwich 93 CMP. Uh, just did a trigger guard, like the captive screws removal, and somebody asking, the, or the bolt disassembly from a previous video, um, asked they got the firing pin stuck maybe with the sleeve on the bolt and they can't get it reset so they can open it up and do anything with it. So that's what this video is going to be about. And one of the things I wanted to show you is what position the Mauser is in right now. So this one has been fired. Let's see if I can get a lighter for you. Hold on. Let's see. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. There we go. So this position has been fired and the firing pins forward where this rifle, it's set back. Both of the safeties are in the firing position. It will only go into the safe position when it's in the fire. And that's what we need when we do all our work for um, fixing the issue that we're having, okay? I'm gonna put this rifle to the side for now and I'll concentrate with this rifle. So this rifle is in battery, ready to go. And from what the issue would sound like from the person was talking about, they took the bolt out and they removed it. Now we're talking about the rear portion. I didn't set the safety in, but it's in the firing position. If I try to push the button in and move the sleeve, it moved 90 degrees from this flat being up and down with the bolt equal right next to it and it went uh to the nine o'clock basically okay this would be the top of the rifle if it was out of battery if i was trying to load and it's moved it's in the fire position and the firing pin is all the way forward how do i get that out it's stuck it won't do anything so what i do is right here is a little tool on my bench i have a hole for the firing pin for the takedown disassembly but I have a routed out curve over here if anything rolls into it. But the added benefit is this is where my bolt, if anything like this happens, this is how I fix it. So the first thing is we can see it's in this V-notch and that's why it's in its forward position. If it was 90 degrees over here, this part would be uh, right about here. And then obviously it would be um, ready and cocked for, for firing. So he's stuck. We're gonna end up pulling this on the ridge and then turning the sleeve 90 degrees, okay? It's a little bit harder doing it this way, um, only because the bolt handle's in the way, but gotta use good force. See how that's coming out of battery, or it's going into the firing position? I moved my safety up. Now, you can see how it cleared the V groove, but now it's at a high enough point to the back of the bolt that I can do two things. I can either unscrew from here, all the way out or what I could have done if if need be is I can reset it I can push it in and push it all the way to the back and that's as far as it goes once you have this this is when we can remove the firing pin okay now I gotta warn you if I put this in fire right now hold on take it off camera okay put it in fire and i turn it at the same time see how it's high up but it's going to go in the groove underneath here 90 degrees right let's see it's gonna make a liar out of me i think all right I, I pushed i pushed in on this and it went down okay the same thing applies even though the safety is like that it may have fallen in there you're just gonna have to reset it at the second time And that's it. That's all you have to do. That's how you get it back out. All right. Just keep watching more videos. Take care, folks.